Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Discriminating Gamer, the board game review show that halfway expects to wake up and find Patrick Duffy in the shower and that all of last year was just a bad dream. My name is Cody. Say, kids, do you like that Doom the video game? Well, now you can enjoy it in board game form with Doom the board game from Fantasy Flight Games. In Doom, the board game from Fantasy Flight Games, players take on the roles of either marines that are going in to kick some demon butt, or the invader character who controls and manipulates the demons in this dungeon crawl adventure. So in the game, up to four players play the marines, while one player plays the invader character. Now essentially, uh, you have different uh, demon groups that the invader is going to use uh, throughout the game, and the uh, marines have their own little marine characters. They're going to get different weapons at the beginning of the game, and with those weapon cards that they're going to be able to use, as well as some kind of cards that all of the uh, marines will be able to use throughout the game. Now the board is modular. It looks a lot like the uh, Imperial Assault or Descent boards. Uh, you go ahead, you pick a scenario, and it's going to tell you exactly how to set it up. Now, you've got, as I say, the Marines who have their weapons, you've got the Vader character who's got his demons, and you've each got decks of cards based on kind of what units you're fielding or what weapons you're fielding if you're the Marines. Now, each scenario, of course, has specific objectives, but really what you're looking to do is frag or kill uh, certain numbers of the invaders, or if you're the invader, you're looking to frag or kill uh, a number of, uh, of the Marines in the game. And you get frag tokens for the number that you've killed, and then, of course, the Marines can come back, but every time they come back, uh, that's another opportunity for them to be destroyed, fragged by the invader. Now, essentially, at the beginning of the game, at the beginning of every round, you're going to prepare, prepare something called the Initiative Deck. The Initiative Deck has, of course, Invader cards, and it has cards for each of the Marines. You're going to shuffle those. And then what's going to happen is the Invader is going to draw it. Now, whichever he draws, if he draws the Invader, or if he draws one of the Marines, that who that is who is activated. You don't get to decide when you're going to go. It's not simply clockwise. It's not the good guys and the bad guy. It's completely randomized by this card selection. Now, the Invader on his turn, he can go ahead, he can play cards from his what, event card deck. He can play those to activate the demons and have them attack the heroes. And the heroes, on their cards, they have different symbols. They can take a main action and then any number of bonus actions. And that's simply the cards they're playing. Play a main action card, and then they can play a bonus card, or a bonus card, or a bonus card. But they only do one main action, and then as many bonus cards as they want. The cards are going to allow them to shoot, to move, to do all sorts of fun and interesting uh, things to try to advance uh, toward their agenda. Now, there's a few other things going on here, too. Uh, for instance, the demons have stagger values. Now, stagger value is if they take that much damage, essentially, if you want to kill them, you just kind of have to move into the same space with them. If you do that, you get a glory kill. If you get a glory kill, you get a, a, a glory kill card that's going to give you some special abilities. Also, too, in a lot of the scenarios, there's going to be different weapons you can find. If you can find the weapons, you get those cards. Now they go into your deck, and you shuffle those, and you can play those cards uh, through in the game. Victory conditions usually depend on fragging, kind of very somewhat throughout the uh, throughout the scenarios, but uh, generally it's based on how many of the enemy you frag, and uh, either the uh, heroes can win by reaching their objective, or the invader frags enough of the marines to win the game for himself. Now that is just a very brief, very basic overview of Doom the board game. This is a very, very simple game to learn and to play. There's a few other little things I didn't mention. For instance, the invader has Argent points, which he can gain and spend these tokens to gain more powers on his cards. There's a lot of other little things going on in the game, but essentially it's a very simple, straightforward game. Uh, it's not hard at all to learn. It's certainly not hard to play. Um, it's a fun, fun game. I think the, the great strength of this game is its simplicity. It's very, very, um, like I say, easy to learn, easy to play. And it's fun. It's a good dungeon crawl adventure. Of course, the minis in this are beautiful. you got those big, evil, icky-looking demons uh, for the invader character. And you got some really cool marine figures for the uh, marines. Um, one thing about this game I wasn't, frankly, that wild about, and that is the modular system there of of building the uh the scenario board again it's like imperial assault or descent and that's just not my favorite way there's no good way i think to to to, to easily find those things and it just seems like it takes forever to put those kinds of maps together the setup time 
putting these maps together, it's just, it, it, I lose patience with it. And to me, I, I know what they're doing. They're trying to make it different, unique every time you play. I can appreciate that. But honestly, I played the campaign of Imperial Assault, and that was the thing that really kind of turned me off quite a bit in those campaigns. It's just the sheer amount of setup time to get all of these things together. I didn't like that here in, in uh, Doom, the board game, either. Having said that, I really liked the game as a whole. I like the glory kill system and the cool cards you can get for that. There's almost, it's, I don't want to call it a deck builder, it's not a deck builder, but the way you're playing cards and then you use your weapons and they come up in your hand and then you play the cards, I, I really liked it. I, to me, it felt like it was something a little bit new and, and breathed a little bit of fresh air into dungeon crawlers, which I, are not really my favorite. They, I used to like them a lot more than I do now. But I really like Doom. I thought Doom, the board game, was a lot of fun. If you like dungeon crawlers and you like, again, ones that are simple but still have some strategy and some interesting things in it and some beautiful minis, a great production all the way around, you're going to want to buy Doom, the board game. Thank you once again for joining us today on The Discriminating Gamer. As always, we ask you to please leave a comment for us on YouTube, on Board Game Geek, on our Facebook page, or on thediscriminatinggamer.com. We ask you to please like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. We are The Discriminating Gamer, and i got to tell you, it's Doom the Board Game, but I was a little disappointed. I mean, nowhere in there is there Paul Muad'Dib, or the Lady Jessica, or the Baron Harkonnen. I mean, the Quizout's Hatterack is no... What's that? Oh, Dune! Dune! Somebody help me on my feet again And I don't know where I'm going And I don't know where I've been Please somebody help me on the solid ground It's a long time and I'll be dying Once a year I wind up in the band Bye! Ooh, well done, child. All right.